Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. My name is Filipa and today I'm going to be playing Standard Best of One in the Mythic Ladder. And now that I arrived to Mythic, it's time to have fun because, uh, I mean, the grind is done. So now I can just play decks that I enjoy and I really wanted to try something different. So I decided to get some um, ramp going and I really wanted to try this card, Doppelgang. This thing is insane. It costs a lot, but for each of X target permanents create X tokens that are copies of that permanent. The more mana you have, the better. For five mana, you can do this once. If for uh, eight mana, you can do twice. And then for 11 mana, you can do three. Our goal is at least eight mana to do two. So then you make two copies of two target permanents. So for example, if you have Nisa and Graph Triplus, you're going to make two copies of them. And you can choose whatever permanent, it can be from your opponent. It's just a very cool card that once again rewards you in the late game. Um, we have a bunch of ramp. I mean, obviously the Tortoise, Invasion of Zendikar, Stomper, Nisa. Uh, we also have Joint Exploration that will allow you to draw a card and to also start ramping. Bam, Bramble Familiar. And then we have the payoffs. The Nisa, the Titan, the Graph Triplets. Uh, we also have ways to delay our opponents with Fading Hope and also with the instant speed of the Ornlock Whale because a lot of times your opponents are going to be playing some aggressive decks so you need some ways to kind of stop it and delay it. Uh, Green Sun's Twilight is a great way to try to get into creatures sometimes for six mana so when uh, the X is five you can try to find something like a Graph Triplet, a Titan and get also a land into play. Um, so overall the deck really tries to ramp and take advantage of getting a bunch of mana and if you succeed you are rewarded so usually if this game goes long you are winning and if you lose you just lose right away if they are playing mono red and they just outrace you I mean in two minutes you're gone but if you're getting into that six seven minute mark you're winning for sure um, Goose Mother is another way to, you can just play it for two mana as a 2 2 flyer, but if you have more mana, you get rewarded. Um, I really like the lenses as well. Now we have the lenses that surveil. We also have two Restless Vine Soak, which is a 5 5. So a lot of cool ways to do very fun things with this deck, and I want to try it here on YouTube. So let's just play some games. I'd like to thank today's sponsor, 3 for 1 Trading, is one of Europe's leading Magic the Gathering retailers and they ship worldwide. Their online shop has a fantastic selection of high-end Magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy and old school players, so they have all those iconic cards that you love. I am very happy to announce that they are now offering exclusively my community free, fully insured and fast worldwide shipping on all their IN singles, full sets and out of print sealed product. They upload new cards every Wednesday and have weekly sale offers and reductions waiting for you. You can now use my code FMTG23 to get free worldwide shipping on your first order over 341 euros, which is approximately 380 US dollars. Take this chance to grab the singles that you need. I go first. I mean, I have Nisa, I have the Goose Mother. I'm all set for success. So let's go. Let, let's play blue just so they are afraid. Because you always have to be afraid of the blue player, right? Always. I feel like there's a better purpose if I wait with this Mother Goose, though. Okay, they are surveilling like there's no tomorrow. Let's play. You should have come a turn earlier. Kind of late, Bramble Familiar. Okay. So I can do Goose Mother for three. That's a 5-5 five five if it resolves. Damn it. Get countered like there's no tomorrow. Jace. Sure. Unfortunately, not the best turn for me. 
need mana or something. Temporary lockdown does take care of the familiar, but that's it. Get his plus again. Kinda need mana. <laughs> I should have kept the land. Okay, there's a quick study. Thank God, thank God. Okay, let's hope they don't have a counter. I guess we'll discover. Don't kill my vibe opponent. <gasps> thank God. I mean, they probably have a board wipe, but... No, they have a board wipe. Kinda hoping that they didn't, not going to lie. So they'll draw a card here. Oh no, they just they just go for it, honey. They just go for it. Let's play some triplets, I guess. So they might have answers. Let's see. Sure, that, that helps make my other ones bigger. Not they've done that. Thank you, opponent. Appreciate the love. Okay, I have 23 cards left. Do they have another Jace? Probably. They do. Okay, but that's not enough. Or is it? No. So they can mill me... 15 cards. Okay, 32, two, two. Sure. But I might just try to win. If I can. I need Nisa for that. So let's try to find a Nissa. Fortunately, we did not. I'll just pass here because if they have a board wipe I don't want to overcommit. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, so let's draw, see if I get a Nisa. Like a big Nisa, not a baby Nisa. Maybe I don't even have in the deck anymore, do I? I still have one. So that's not what I want. Okay, we didn't get it yet. Let's go. It's the Nisa saving us. Thank you very much, Nisa. Appreciate the love. Appreciate it a lot. I can keep this. It's a bit awkward. I wish I was on the play. Again, I've not been very lucky with being on the play, but that's okay. Ideally, I want to be playing these on the third 
turn. I'm not going to say no to a matter of gooses. I feel like you just cannot say no to it. I'm just going to pass. We're both passing. But I have these. Do they have a counter? We'll discover. Ooh. You know what? Why not? I like both of them. Does he resolve? He does. I still don't know what they're doing, if it's a combo. Ah, it might be the combo deck. Okay, here they're just choosing to draw, draw, draw. Hmm, I have options. Just do a little matter of the gooses. Ah, so they have removal, I see. Chandra, okay. I, I could use doppelganger on that, not going to lie. me I mean I'll take it I just go face because they might have a board wipe so might as well they just have so many doppelgangers it's the doppelganger game. Yeah, they do have Sunfall. Damn it! Okay. Do they have the get lost? Good to know. Okay, so I do have the doppelganger. Which is very interesting. But let's wait. Let's wait. I think if we are patient, we can get a really good turn. Yeah, I do make maps out of it, so that's fine. Ooh, they need mana. That cannot be good for me. Maybe something I can doppelgang? Ah, they want to kill me. That has flashback. Okay, so I do have a food, but that's not enough. Mm -mm -mm. I'm thinking... So I can do two permanents, maybe I should. I don't think I'm going to survive. Okay, so let's see. 
that cannot deal yet, but if they have another one, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not enough yet. So they need mana and to have another one, and, and for the mana to be untapped. So that's not it yet. Okay, that's not it yet. We're doppelganging. Okay, we survive to live another day. I love that for us. Staying alive, staying alive. Sure, they can draw. If they do this, I just fading up fast. Okay, so I have to gain life. But then... I'll just return these. Doesn't matter, does not matter, because now I win. Doppelganger for the win, let's freaking go. I'll keep it, I mean, I'm going first, so why not? I can familiar next, she's a great way to start. Oh, they're playing green. We have our Nisa next. Oh, they're also ramping. I take it. I'll do the stomper next. When I can get more value with Nisa. I played this deck on my on my YouTube. It's a very cool deck. Yeah, I literally played this deck. I mean, maybe it's not the same, but it's very similar. Okay, so if I do that, and I grab blue, and I do that, and I grab blue, green, and then green, and then I do this. Fitting up is actually not bad. Not bad. Ugh, I'm going to lose my Nisa. I just don't want to deal with that audacity. And I have another Nisa anyway. Binder is not exactly what I'm need needing here. Not bad, okay. We are approaching. I can now return this to my hand and then use it. That's okay. So this is more like a Merfolk deck, I like it. It's not the same I did on my YouTube. I don't have the Merfolk part. But it's cool. I approve it. Some exploration. Okay, so let's discard. I do have to discard that, but I think it's worth it. Because I can get so much value. Actually, it's crazy because I kind of didn't get a value. But okay. I mean, all in all, could have been worse. Sure, why not? Let's see if they want to block with something. No, they just take it, okay. 
I mean, if I could get a doppelganger, that would be dope. Give me a doppelganger. Sure. No doppelganger, Sag. Let's mill some cards. Ooh, okay. We did get some interesting things. Doesn't matter too much, maybe. If I don't get like the, the card on top, I can just keep bringing these to my hand. I can also start just making edging mazes, to be honest, and attack with everything. I'm just having fun. Because once you got to Mythic, that's that's the goal. You just want to play fun decks, you know? You already did the thing, you're already Mythic. And now it's the time to just showcase fun decks. Because the grind of the Diamond and Plot, it's already enough, you know? Enough Mono Reds, enough Boros Convoke, enough Control Decks, enough everything. And now it's our time to play fun things. We might get a concession here from Gandalf. Okay. Yeah, I think our opponent is gone. Maybe left the keyboard. You know, I have too many things. Got them, got them, got them, got them. I go first and I keep it. Finally starting first, that's good, that's very nice. I'll take it. We need lands, you know? Lands are good. Lands are our best friends. I could just do this for zero, because why not? Let's attack first. They take it. Ah, they're copying us. So they wanna do Sunfall. Let's have them F to have the Sunfall. And then we can destroy the Incubation, we can Sun's Twilight. What? I'm the doppelganger. Not you. Okay, so I can do this for five, right? I must say, quite annoying from them. I have to do this so they don't mine us and win. One that should be Nisaing. Not them. Okay. So they do have Sunfall, so I'm not sure why they did that. Okay, I have to pass. Not looking too good, but what can a person do? They stole my Nisa. 
That's that's just mean, you know what I mean? This is not the life I wanted to live. I want my niece to stay alive. Four, five. So I have five forests. Five forests plus five plus five. That will be good if it happens. That's an obvious one. Hopefully no more sunfalls. I feel like I had enough. So let's just pass. They only have four forests, so... Ooh, that thing is good. But they cannot do it yet, but that thing is good. They can do it in their turn, but then they don't have more mana. I need to minus my Nisa next turn and attack with everything. Ah, oh, never mind. Damn you, and they just try to get my things back, which is not my ideal scenario. If I must admit. Look, you better let this happen. Leave my Nisa alone! Well, if they have something, they have something. Sure. Becomes a seventeen seventeen. Of course they have something. Still need to do blocks. They don't need to be great, that's the issue. Let's see what they do, because I still have these. Ah, but I die. Can't believe they stole my Nisa like that. Yeah, I'm just dead. This is instant, so they can return the spell. No, with my own Nisa! It's kinda... It, I go first, I would prefer to have... I mean, okay, this I can surveil. And I can surveil into getting a land, and then I have the ramp, so it's not that bad. I just need to find a land. Okay, that's good. That's okay. I can do this for zero, why not? Apply some pressure. I have other bombs for later game. Fair enough. 
I really need to top deck another land. That would be great because then these can start attacking. Easy. So let's get two forests. Let's attack. I mean, now I'm on, like, they have three mana, I have a million. It's not fair. That's okay. Ooh, Nisa. My bestie. I could minus, but it's not enough. It's plus six. So that would be 20 damage. That's okay. So now they might have Sunfall, because this seems like a little of control deck. But I can climb back from that, I believe. Oh, Burn Down the House is good. Burn Down the House can be very interesting. I mean, if they have a Sunfall, it doesn't matter, but then if they do have a Sunfall, I can attack for five. Farewell. I mean, it's still better than nothing. I get to keep applying pressure there, down to seven. My last cards in hand are great. Okay, so let's activate that. Let's make this a 3 3. Fast win, let's go. I just need to be on the play and things will happen. Let me be on the play arena, please. Okay. I just gotta ask. It's that easy. I love this end, actually. It's very good against aggro decks, because we do have the Fading Hope, the, the Exploration can be as well good to ramp us up, and of course, we can use the ability of the Lock Whale to start returning things to hand, so not looking too bad. Okay. So it's an aggressive deck. Okay, not really something I put on top. We keep delaying them bit by bit. Okay. Sure. I am taking a bit of damage because I don't have blue available. If Tidebinder counters these, it's pretty good. The third chapter, because it just dies. So they have to choose if they put it on top or bottom. Guess it will depend on what they have. Okay, they put it on top. Okay, this is better for me. Cause I don't have to pay life. It's okay. Sure, I'll take it. No, I don't really... I have a land. Okay, that's pretty good. We did get a land, not even... Although I didn't even want it, but we did get it. So 
to now getting lenses is not that bad because then I have the whale and then I have the industry. Okay. I mean, not much I can do with that. I have to take six. Kind of pray. Okay, we did get the whale. I don't think they can deal with it, but I mean, any spell that deals like damage phase kills me at this point. So, you know, not great. If I do get a land, then I can Titan and eh, maybe with the life gain and all. That should do it. Okay. I mean, I'm still alive. Barely, but I am. I mean, any spell basically kills me, but if I can get to my Titan of Industry, things are a bit different though. So they are looking at the number of instants and sources they have, which is two. So they can get cards, and at this point anything kills me. But not yet. And I did get the land. It's time for me to attack with some things. Maybe not with everything, but some things for sure. I don't know, I think they missed little, didn't they? Let me know Twitch chat, you... Not Twitch chat, YouTube. You always know. Uh, so this is going to be a two... Okay, so I think... Should be I say I think I should be safe now, right? Even... Even if there's two lightning bolts, it's not enough. I have so many creatures at this point. Mm, actually... Okay, let's see. That's okay. We beat it, the mono red. Let's go. Let's go. Y'all, I'm not going to lie. This deck didn't perform well. My win rate was not great, but I did have a lot of fun. Uh, and if you like fun decks like this one, you can try it out. I did lose a couple of times for mono red and Boris Convoke. That deck is just so fast that it's really difficult for me to do stuff. So if you are facing a lot of those in the ladder, maybe try adding some more Fading Hope um, and, and removing some of the more greedy spells. Uh, maybe even a, a Blue March to try to phase out things just to try to stay alive. But that said, y'all, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up. It really helps me out. And I'm already getting excited for the next set, the Cowboy set. Uh, I've been seeing the previews and it seems really exciting. So comment down below what is the card that you're most excited about for the next set. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.